song about sitting around the glow rock singing all night long. We're sitting around the glow rock singing a song about sitting around the glow rock singing all night long. Don't be scared, Gumo. It was just the wind. I knew that. <gasps> hey, let's tell scary stories. Me, 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 me. It was a dark and stormy night. Some cute children got together for a tea party. <gasps> One of them reached for the teapot <gasps> and began to pour. And out of the pot came... Came... <laughs> Nothing at all! <laughs> what is that, Scary? A tea party with no tea. Are you kidding? Oh, the horror! I can do better than that. Get ready to scream! One night, up from the ground came... The arm that wouldn't die! Followed by the head that wouldn't die! <laughs> and then the whole body that wouldn't die! <laughs> Night, I heard a rustling in the bushes. Then I saw this weird shadow and heard loud breathing. <sighs> it was getting louder, so I ran straight into this huge beast that was breathing and groaning and oozing green goo. And the monster disappeared. But it is still out there. Anybody for more jelly apples? I'll get the box. Sounds like Gumo saw a real monster. I wonder what we'd do if that happened to us. Or if then it happens to us. The monster is probably still out there. <gasps> Panting, groaning and oozing green goo. Myself. Come on! He's our friend! You go then! Uh, you first! <gasps> you first! 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 You Helmet! Did we leave our stuff like that? Or could it have been trampled as Gumo was dragged away? <gasps> Footprints! They're gooey! Like Gumo's monster! <laughs> Groaning. Phew. So we can calm down and look for Gumo, knowing we have nothing to fear. Except the scary green footprints and those weird shadows. Seems... <laughs> 
to get our jelly apples back. We're so glad you weren't eaten by a monster. What monster? The heavy breathing, groaning, green goo oopsing, fairy one. <laughs> there was no monster. I made him up. Weren't we telling scary stories? But they found green gooey footprints. <laughs> I must have stepped on a goo-goo berry plant. <laughs> there, there, monster. <laughs>
Another afternoon inside. <gasps> that doesn't have to be a problem. Right here we have hundreds of books to read. It's true. Let's read one about inventors. No, about princesses. No, about princess inventors. Everyone likes a princess inventor. Not me. What's boring? It's not boring. It's boring. It's not boring. It's boring. It's not boring. <laughs> we can listen to a story that has a little bit of everything we like in it if we use this crystal ball. Oh, um, um, well, or, or this one. They all work the same way. A crystal ball? Uh huh. We will create our story by taking turns. Whoever has the ball in their hands can tell us how the story will continue. What do you think? Fun, right? I'm going to look for a book on princess inventors. Is there nothing you like? It's as if you have been attacked by the monster of boredom. <laughs> monster? What monster? He's the main character of this story. Listen, a very long, long time ago, in a dark castle, lived the monster of boredom. He looked human, but... I know! He had wings! And, and a dragon tail! And go horn! And, and a water tail! Hey! Wait a minute! I'm the one who has the crystal ball! Anyway, where was I? Oh, yes. The monster lived happily in his own boredom until... You continue, dear. Oh, all right. Well, let's see. Um, oh, yes. Until one day, right next to the castle walls, a circus appeared. It had everything a circus should have. Wild animals, clowns, ballerinas and ringmasters, trapeze artists and strongmen, and even mimes. The monster saw it from his window and said, How horrible a circus! How horrible a circus! He knew that if a circus settled there, the place would fill up with happy and fun people. I won't allow it! No way! So he decided to go to the circus and... Nina, it's your turn. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know how to continue. Come on, Nina, the story's exciting! Um... All right. Um, I know. Um, the monster left the castle purposefully, and suddenly he comes across the circus ringmaster, a young, beautiful and intelligent girl who was studying the layout of the circus in order to improve the condensation problem that many circuses have due to the impermeable... Nina, that's so boring, the monster of boredom will fall asleep. Hand it over. And then... The monster of boredom came across Greta, the most talented ballerina in the world. Even the monster knew who she was. Greta, I am your biggest fan. Could you sign an autograph? I'd be very happy to. I'll do my famous dancing autograph. <laughs> and Peter danced and danced like only she knew how. And the monster was so amazed that... Minna! Give me the crystal ball. I don't want to. It's my part of the story. But you're in my part of the story. But yours is very boring. Why? Just because you say so? It's my turn and I'm going to continue. Rita was so conceited, she didn't realise that it was all a trick to turn her into a zombie of boredom. <laughs> I'm bored. <laughs> you think that's funny? Well, well, the monster asked the beautiful ballerina for help so they could turn all the rest into zombies. And she said, yes.
masters of boredom were closing in on him. And it was impossible to escape. I'm bored. I'm bored. What the zombies didn't know was that the strong red-haired man wasn't just the strongest man in Jumbo. He was the king of the strong men's planet. Each star in the sky was a spaceship from his planet. And each and every one of them... I got you. I was the only one that didn't have them. <laughs> <laughs> I love the screws, they're great! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Your zombies are boredom! You can't have fun! This isn't boring. Turning others into zombies is like playing tag. Yes, I love this game! <laughs> and I like saying... I'm bored. <laughs> it's really fun. Fun? How can it be fun if... Whoa. I'm the worst monster in the world. <laughs> and everyone explained to the monster that it's much better to be the monster of fun than to be the monster of boredom. And the monster understood and said... I'll join the circus and call myself the monster of fun. And starting today, I'll go around the world making people laugh. <laughs> and that is how the story of the monster who changed boredom for fun ends. The end. Look, the rain stopped. It's true. Oh. Or should we stay here making up stories? Mm. Oh, I don't know! The <laughs> truth is... Um, um, oh. I know! I say we invent another story! Or that we continue with Greta, the beautiful ballerina! She's, She's the, the monster, monster of boredom! <laughs> All right! I'm bored! <laughs>
ghost is kind of clumsy. It keeps bumping into things, like I do. Hmm. I know how we'll catch it! Yeah! How? Good. Let's imagine that this is the ghost. But it's a token. That's why I said let's imagine. Oh. Pay attention. We'll place things along the hall. Here, here and here. Tokens? No, things. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, let's imagine. All right. When the ghost comes into the hall, it'll bump into the first obstacle. Yes. Against the second one. Yes. And the third. Yes. And how? Oh, it'll fall into the trap. Yay for Jumbo! Yet, dear? The ghost! He was only the king! <laughs> 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 the factory! Oh, we forgot! Thank you. Saved by the bell. <laughs> we did it. Yeah, we did it! Yes, <laughs> we did it! <laughs> We got over our fears and saved Jumbo! See you soon! <laughs> 